I started to research manhood and what it means to be a man in modern day Ireland. While I was researching, I came across some pretty horrific stats. Ireland has the four highest suicide rate for um, people between the age of 19 and 24. Men in this demographic are three times more likely than any other demographic to die by suicide. So my work is exploring that team. I created the vases. It takes me about a month to make each vase, and this is accumulated with 26 vases. So once I've perfected the vase, I then, in a performance piece, hang my vase, kick a stool from underneath it, and drop it and smash it. And then I, um, I build these massive sculptures out of the, out of the fragments. It's supposed to represent um, the fragility of, of men, people that are in a bad state of mental health. Show themselves as, as good and in good mental health when they're around people, but behind the scenes they could be broken and fragile. I'm hoping that it will start a dialogue about mental health and I'm hoping that when young men see one of their own flying the flag that they'll feel more comfortable with expressing themselves and being more open and honest. My research was heavily based on archival historical garments such as cloak, kaftan and chemise, the garments that hasn't been changed for generations. The wool comes from sustainable sources in South America and South Africa and also I've used local wool from Kerry Woolen Mills. All the materials are biodegradable and the garments are, some garments are reversible so they can be worn in different ways. Um, the patterns are minimum or zero waste um, so that makes it sustainable. The wet felting process virtually leaves no waste as well so this coats um, uh, made in, in marina wool, which is uh, very um, soft to touch. So these garments intend to be worn for a long, um, lifelong period of time. We all have to change our patterns and behavior as consumers and the designers. We have responsibility to, to produce something sustainable and also that will not impact our surrounding and the world in the long term.